When I was young, I was a huge fan of the PBR. So much so that I thought I could eventually become a professional bull rider myself. So years ago, I decided to make my best attempt at riding a steer. I climbed into the bucking chute and my nerves started to set in. My head was pounding and I had never been more terrified for anything else in my life. But nevertheless, I scooted up on my rope and nodded my head. Suddenly, the gate flew open and I had a 900 pound beast trying to buck me off of his back. After surviving my first jump, the panic started to set in. Thoughts flooded my head thinking about what would happen if I just let go. In a split second, I found myself on the ground with a face full of dirt, wondering what just happened. For a lot of you watching, you may be just a little bit confused as to why I just told you an embarrassing story of how I only made it two seconds on a steer's back. But hang in there and it will all make sense. How many of you have ever faced stress or anxiety at some point in your life? Well, the answer to that is all of us. Almost every single one of us face some sort of stress or anxiety at some point every single day. It is an inevitable part of life, and the more that we try to avoid it, the worse it becomes. Today, you will learn how to manage it and thrive under the pressure that life presents. My name is Trey Myers, your Central Area Vice President, and this is Oklahoma FFA's Leadership on Demand. FFA members, we can all learn a valuable lesson from the brave men who voluntarily strapped themselves onto an angry 1,500 pound animal. Bull riders, like many athletes, use various mental strategies to manage stress and maintain focus during their performances. Focusing on the task at hand, in this case, an eight second ride, is the common approach and quite frankly, the most effective to dealing with stress and anxiety. By concentrating on the immediate challenge, bull riders can prevent their minds from wandering into negative what-if scenarios that can create additional stress and lead to a lack of focus. By channeling their focus and energy into those critical eight seconds, bull riders can enhance their chances of success and maintain a clear and composed mindset, even in the face of the challenges posed by a bucking bull. The skill they have mastered is called mindfulness, and it's the reason they can stay focused even in the process of risking their life. Mindfulness is defined as a mental state achieved by focusing one's awareness on the present moment. This is a crucial skill as we navigate life's challenges, but there's two important steps in order to manage our stress. Step one, embrace your eight seconds. As I mentioned before, it is so important to focus on the present moment, but simply being present isn't the entire solution. In order to perform at your best possible self, you need to fully embrace the situation. Oftentimes, we let stress cloud our minds and psych us out of leading to a performance that isn't our best. Whether it be leading a workshop for your chapter, delivering a speech, or walking into the ring for a big show, the stress will be high. But when we embrace the challenge and use our stress to our advantage, you can excel to another level that you never thought was possible. Step two, eliminate what if situations. When the stress starts to build, we all have a default mindset of creating a what if situation our brain naturally starts to formulate all the possible outcomes of what will happen next, and the problem occurs with the negativity attached with them. When we create these negative thoughts, we lose sight of the good outcomes that can occur from what you are doing. These situations can cause us to lose sight of the task at hand and once again, perform at a lower level than your full potential. I think the great American author Mark Twain summed it up perfectly when he said, I've had a lot of worries in my life, most of which never happened. Life has a way of slipping through our fingers, leaving us to truly wonder where the time went. Too many times we get caught up in the stressfulness of our daily lives and take for granted the opportunities that we are given. At the end of the day, life is too short to let stress and anxiety control our lives. So remember to be mindful by embracing your eight seconds and eliminating those negative what if situations. With this strategy, you can limit stress and reach heights that you never thought were possible. Thanks for watching and see you soon.